A fissure projection is a way to represent a chiral molecule without using the traditional wedge and dash notation at the chiral carbon. Fissure projections are typically used for molecules that have multiple chiral carbons, specifically for sugar molecules, carbohydrates, but they could be used for any type of molecule as long as it has a chiral carbon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert traditional wedge dash notation into a fissure projection, and I'm also going to show you how to draw enantiomers of molecules uh, in fissure projection notation. When you are drawing a fissure projection from a traditional wedge and dash notation, it's super important that the wedge dash notation molecule is drawn in a way that looks exactly like this particular structure. There needs to be two wedge bonds and they have to both be on the horizontal position. So they have to be exactly like this. And there also needs to be two dashed bonds and they both need to be on the vertical. The molecule has to be in exactly this format. You can't have the dashed bonds horizontally and the wedge bonds vertically because it'll give you the wrong structure. To convert this into a fissure projection, you just simply replace the wedge and dashed um, bonds with straight line bonds. And that's literally all that you have to do. So it's very, very simple as long as you can get the original bonds in the wedge dash notation lined up correctly. So the Fisher projection looks exactly like this. Typically at a Fisher projection, we do not represent the carbon atom that is chiral. So the chiral carbon, the one that has four different things attached. We don't use the letter C to represent the chiral carbon. We just know that that chiral carbon is there at each one of the intersections of the lines. So we're just gonna make a note here that there is a chiral carbon at the intersection of every horizontal and vertical line. Now, if you need to draw an enantiomer of a Fisher projection, you're still gonna do the same sort of thing that you would normally do for you know, any type of molecule. I'm gonna draw a Fisher projection for a molecule that has multiple chiral carbons. Um, look like this. So here's a, a larger Fisher projection. This molecule has two chiral carbons. Remember there's a chiral carbon at the intersection of every horizontal vertical line. And if we needed to draw the enantiomer of this molecule, so we would imagine that there's a mirror right here. And to draw the enantiomer, we're going to, just like normal, we're just gonna draw the mirror image of this molecule. So we're gonna have the same general carbon skeleton. We're gonna have two hydrogens up against the mirror like that. We'll have a fluorine and a chlorine away from the mirror like that, a bromine on the bottom and an OH up on top. And these two molecules are enantiomers of each other.